Hey everybody, wasn't that a hot fucking mess or what? Alright, so, anyway, I've been promising for a long time ago um, to show you how I define my curls with the Echo Styler Gel. And since that twist out was a fucking disaster, I figured um, this would be a good time to just go ahead and show you guys how I do that. So you can see that I got most of my head done already and believe it or not, I did this uh, pretty quickly. Um, it's like about half, well not even half an hour, like about 15 minutes to do this. Um, one thing though, you know, even though I don't generally wear twist outs, um, I find that it does help me to get a really good uh, curl definition with the Echo Styler because my hair is really really very tightly coiled it's um it's not very it's not coarse at all it's very soft but um it is very dry and it is very tightly coiled kind of spring like except for like right in here in the front and some sections back here i guess those are my 4a areas but um, even my even my 3C areas back here, you know, it's like it's very, very, how would you describe it, like spring-like. They're like springs, you know, it's like when it shrinks, it really shrinks hard. So I find that um, stretching out the hair really helps to get um, a good style when I put the gel in it. So what I did actually is um, before I did my twist, um, I blow dried, you know, I washed my hair and I, I actually blow dried it to stretch the hair out. And uh, that made the twisting go a lot faster. So uh, I was wearing my hair up in twists for about two or three days before I let them out and saw what that was like. So I'm just uh, going to show you, I'm not going to show you like you know sit here and do this like all friggin uh, night hold on a second like in the bathroom I'm not used to doing styles looking into a camera so you know this is really hard because everything that I'm seeing is just like it's like backward but anyway all I do in and I do this on dry hair because for me if I did it on wet hair when it dried the shrinkage factor because my hair is so spring like the shrinkage factor would be I don't know my hair is really like down to here if you want to see you know and um, let's see it's been about a year I started growing it out it's almost two years I started growing it out in January of last year so you know just count back and actually it would be a lot longer than this I did uh, cut it no not really cut it I gave it um a trim with the uh, with the clippers uh, when like maybe January February like maybe March you know my clippers here and um, I've trimmed it two times since then so I think all in all, I probably cut off maybe like about two or three inches. So it would have been much longer had I not done that. But, you know, my hair was really needing it. So anyway, what I do is I just take the hair and I use the Black Echo Styler gel. And I just get like about that much on my fingers and I just run it down the shaft of the hair and I just feel you know to see what it's like if my hair is feeling dry I know that I need to put a little bit more on there so I'll go back in and I'll put more and I don't know if you can see that Ugh. so crazy doing this backward um, 
Let me do a section on this side for you. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on a second. I have to jump up and look at myself in the mirror and see what I'm actually doing here. So once again, I'm going to take the hair and I'm just going to smooth. I start out like at the base. I don't know. I just find that that works for me, you know, because I just like smooth it down. And then when I get to the tip, you know, the ends of the hair, that's where I find I have to give a little bit more attention because for some reason that part of my hair is the thirstiest and it needs a lot more gel than uh, the rest of the hair. I guess because that's the oldest section, you know, it's seen the most wear and tear. So that's what I do. And I find that because my hair is stretched out, I don't have to go and do like little individual sections because that would just take forever to do. Uh, so I am going to come back and show you when I got everything done because I have to really look at what I'm doing to get it shaped properly here and I can't really do that looking into the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this all up and I'll come back and let you see what the finished product looks like okay talk to you soon